Hello, my name is Nicole and I'm a senior here at Brockport studying physics. Today we're going to go into Smith Hall to take a tour of the physics labs. So now we are in the lounge. This space is open to all students. Typically you'll find chemistry and physics students in here studying, working on homework. You can also eat your food in here. We have a full kitchen so you can heat up anything that you bring from home and you can store stuff in the fridge. This is also where our physics club meetings are held, so if you're interested in getting involved with game night or looking at our VR headsets, this is the space to be. So this is the High Energy X-ray Astrophysics Lab. In this space, undergraduate students, including myself, do research on galaxies and black hole systems, and we use data from NASA. So this is one of our magnet research laboratories. In this room, it's actually a Faraday cage, so if you close the door, your phone won't work while you're in here. In this room, we test out the different magnets using liquid helium, which is kept at temperatures close to absolute zero. So welcome to the Surface Science Lab. In this space, students can do research on materials for applications in next generation computers. Behind me, we have the ultra high vacuum system, which is where we can test our hypotheses on those materials. I was actually able to get paid to do research in this lab my first summer here. So we have two introductory physics labs set up just like this space where students are going to um, work in groups or partners to develop basic and fundamental physics experiment procedures. In this space, this is our upperclassmen physics lab room. This is where students are going to go a bit deeper into everything. We look at optics and electronics labs. We also have a lab dedicated to robotics and coding. So you actually develop your own little Mars rover that can detect light for its solar sensors and can also detect alien life. In this room, we also have our 3D printer, which is required for the carts. And students can also use it for research, in particular our uh, surface Science Lab often uses the 3D printer for their research. Welcome to the other magnetics lab. In this space, students make nanoparticles that are much smaller than the width of a human hair. These nanoparticles can be used in electronics and for imaging, as well as to cure some types of cancer. So these are some magnetic nanoparticles that were made in this lab. So I have a magnet here and current research is being done on these to test the possibility of using them to decontaminate water. Thank you for coming on the tour. I hope you'll check out the physics department here at SUNY Brockport.